In the early mornings, I write books. During the day, I'm a nonprofit leader at Ireland Senior Resources, and on weekends, I make pottery. I have made pottery for 40 years. My name is Charles LaFond, and I'm an aging senior on Whitby Island, or at least I feel like one, as muscles ache and I forget what I went into rooms to retrieve. My grandmother, great uncle, and aunt were all abused by action or neglect in their old age in elder care institutions. My great uncle was forced into an insane asylum just because in the 60s dementia was misunderstood. So I work for Ireland Senior Resources to make sure that aging seniors, adults with disability, and exhausted caregivers have the resources they need as they age in their homes. Because they deserve to age with some dignity. They've spent their whole lives working for others and it's time for us to care for them. The islands of Whitby and Kameno in Ireland County have approximately 95,000 people on them. 38,000 are aging seniors with needs as diverse as a question about Medicare all the way to extreme poverty, malnutrition, and isolation, simply because they ran out of money. They just lived too long. The rural poverty in these islands is its dirty secret, and I work hard every day to alleviate suffering for about 10,000 aging seniors annually. But the remaining 28,000 seniors is who I worry about. 8,000 are fine, and some wealthy. But 10,000 are suffering or could be, and I wish we had the resources to care for them all. So I am doing all that I can alongside others to help alleviate suffering by celebrating the past 50 years of services on these islands and by charting the course for the next 50 years. Because as long as humans live here, they will age. Aging is never going away. In this 50th year of Island Senior Resources, we are celebrating our Golden Jubilee. And as the year comes to a close, I hope to gather 25 families at a time to celebrate the past 50 years and imagine the next 50 years. I'm a philanthropist as well, and I know that when I am invited to a dinner focusing on a nonprofit, I assume they will be fundraising. But these events include no fundraising at all. We're just hosting a conversation to imagine the needs of the islands together. And we want input. So I thought to myself, if I'm asking for an hour of a family's time, why not invite them with a donation of an hour of my own personal weekend time? A goblet seemed to be an image of celebration to me, and I like to make them. So a local donor funded the clay and glaze materials, and another donor from Denver paid for the boxing materials and postage, and I got to work on a collection of a hundred goblets. I used stoneware glazes of cobalt, blue, with a rim dip of a half inch of ivory chino glaze falling down the side of the cup to resemble the sailor's sea surf hitting Whitby Island rocks. A potter makes lines in the air. The shape of the goblet is sensual and I think its curves are very human. As these goblets arrive in homes and as recipients decide if they're going to help us to imagine the future by attending a conversation, I hope they say yes to this conversation. I, I need their advice. We need their advice. We have a problem on these islands that we together can and will solve. That's what nonprofits do. We solve problems. So I hope people pour their favorite drink, lift their goblets and toast the amazing times in which we live and imagine those who need help accessing their gratitude for what they have and their compassion for those who have less. We can do this but only together.